Λοιτός ο Θεός ημών πάντοτε νυν και αή, εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν. Λόγι του Θεού, Λόγι του Θεού, Heavenly King, the Comforter, the Spirit of Truth, who art in all places and fills all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life. Come and abide in us and cleanse us from every stain and save our souls, O gracious Lord. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, Holy Mighty, Holy Immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to each of these, Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins, Master, heart, and our iniquities. Holy God, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to each of these, Amen. And our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Sins. For my iniquities are risen higher than my head. 
as a heavy burden they have pressed heavily upon me. My bruises are become noisome and corrupt from the face of my folly. I have been wretched and utterly bowed down until the end. All the day long I went with downcast face. For my loins are filled with mocking and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and humbled exceedingly. I have roared from the groaning of my heart. O Lord, before thee is all my desire, and my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart is troubled, my strength has failed me, and the light of mine eyes, even this, is not with me. My friends and my neighbors drew nigh over against me, and stood, and my nearest of kin stood afar off, and they that sought after my soldiers violent. And they that sought evils for me spake vain things and craftiness all the day long did they meditate. But as for me, like a deaf man, I heard them not as a speechless man that opened not his mouth. And I became as a man that heareth not, and hath in his mouth no reproof. For in thee have I hoped, O Lord, that will hearken unto me, O Lord my God. For I said, Let never mine enemy rejoice over me. Yea, when my feet were shaken, those men spake boastful words against me. For I am ready for the scourges, and my sorrow was continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity, and I will take heed concerning my sin. But mine enemies live and are made stronger than I, and they that hated me unjustly are multiplied. They that render me evil for good slandered me, because I pursued goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord, of my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord, of my salvation. O God, my God, unto thee I rise early at dawn. My soul has thirsted for thee. How often hath my flesh longed after thee in a land barren and untrodden and on water. So in thy sanctuary have I appeared before thee to see thy power and thy glory. For thy mercy is better than life. My lips shall praise thee. So shall I bless thee in my life. And in thy name will I lift up my hands. As with marrow and fatness let my soul be filled. And with lips rejoicing shall my mouth praise thee. If I remembered thee on my bed, at dawn I meditated on thee. For thou art become my helper and the shelter of my wings, will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee. Thy right hand hath been quick to help me. But as for these in vain have they sought after my soul, they shall go into the nethermost parts of the earth. They shall be surrendered unto the edge of the sword. Portions for foxes shall they be. But the king shall be glad in God. Everyone shall be praised that sweareth by him. For the mouth of them must stop and speak unjust things. At the dawn I meditated on thee. For thou art become my helper and the shelter of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul hath cleaved after thee. Thy right hand hath been quick to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God of my salvation, by day have I cried, and by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee, bow down thine ear, and to my supplications, for filled with my evils of my soul, and my life unto Hades hath drawn nigh. I am counted with them that go down into the pit. I am become as a man without help. Free among the dead, like the body of the slain that sleep in the grave, whom thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from my hand. They laid me in the lowest pit, in darkness and the shadow of death. Against me and thine anger made strong, and all thy billows hast thou brought upon me. Thou hast removed my friends afar from me. They have made me an abomination unto themselves. I have been delivered up and have come forth. Mine eyes are grown weak from poverty. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, the whole day long. I have stretched out my hand unto thee. Nay, for the dead wilt thou work wonders, for shall physicians raise them up, that they may give thanks unto thee. Nay, shall any in the grave tell of my mercy, and of thy truth in that destruction. Nay, shall my wonders be in that darkness, and my righteousness in the land that is forgotten. But as for me, unto thee, O Lord, have I cried, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, O Lord, dost thou cast off my soul, and turnest my face away from me? A poor man am I, and in troubles from my youth, yea, having been exalted, I was humbled and brought to distress. Thy furies have passed upon me, and thy terrors have sorely troubled me. 
They came around about me like water. All the day long they compassed me together. Thou hast removed the far from me, friend and neighbor, and mine acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, by day have I cried and by night before thee. Let my prayer come before thee. Bow down thine ear unto my supplication. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all that he hath done for thee, who is gracious unto all thine iniquities, who healeth thine infirmities, who redeemeth thy life from corruption, who crowneth thee with mercy and compassion, who fulfilleth thy desires with good things. Thy youth shall be renewed as the eagles. The Lord performeth deeds of mercy and executeth judgment for all them that are wrong. He hath made his ways known unto Moses, unto the sons of Israel, the things that he hath willed, compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long suffering and plenteous in mercy, not unto the end will he be angered, neither unto eternity will he be wroth. For according to our iniquities hath he dealt with us, neither according to our sins hath he rewarded us. For according to the height of heaven from the earth, the Lord hath made his mercy to prevail over them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our iniquities from us. Like as the Father hath compassion upon his sons, so hath the Lord hath compassion upon them that fear him. For he knoweth whereof we are made, he hath remembered that we are dust. As for man, his days are as the grass. As a flower of the field, so he blossoms forth. For when the wind is passed over it, then he shall be gone, and no longer will it know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity even unto eternity upon them that fear him. And his righteousness is upon sons of sons, upon them that keep his testament and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne and his kingdom ruled over all. Bless the Lord, all ye his angels, mighty in strength that perform his word, to hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all ye his hosts, his ministers that do his will. Bless the Lord, all ye his works in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear unto my supplication in thy truth. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. For in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath humbled my life down to the earth. He hath sat me in darkness with those that have been long dead, and my spirit within me is become despondent. Within me my heart is troubled, I remember the days of old. I meditated on all thy works. I pondered on, on the creations of thy hands. I stretched forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsted after thee like a waterless land. Quickly hear me, O Lord. My spirit hath fainted away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest I be like those that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for in like thee have I put my hope. Cause me to know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk, for unto thee have I lifted my soul. Rescue me from mine enemies, O Lord. Unto thee I have fled for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. For thy name's sake, O Lord, shalt thou quicken me. In thy righteousness shalt thou bring my soul out of affliction, and in thy mercy shalt thou utterly destroy mine enemies. And thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. O Lord, give ear unto my supplication, and enter not to judgment with thy servant. O Lord, give ear unto my supplication, and enter not into judgment with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall lead me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. O Lord, our hope, glory to thee. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. In the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, the Most Gracious, the Most Gracious, the Most Gracious. For the peace of the whole world, the good state of all the churches of God, and for the union of all men, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. In the name of Allah, the Most Gracious, 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 the for the venerable priest and the diaconate in Christ, for the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Nejli hukka amina wa muazaratim fi kulla amilin salih bin ila rabbi natlu. Ya Rabbul Haan. That he will aid them and grant them victory over every enemy and adversary, let us pray to the Lord. Ya Laisun. 
لأجل هذا المدينة وجميع الأديرة والمدن والكرة والمؤمنين الساكنين فيها إلى رب نطلب For healthful seasons, for abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. For the mercy. For deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. For بعد ذكرنا الكلية القداسة الطاهرة الفائقة البركات المجيدة صفة والدة الإله الدائمة البتلية مريم مع جميع القديسين فلنودع ذواتنا وبعضنا بعضا وكل حياتنا المسيح الإله لأنه بك ليك وكل تمجيد وإكرام والسجود أيها الآب لم روح القدس أنا وكل أوان ولده الداهرين آمين all nations compass me about, but in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. من كبر الرب كانت هذه وهي عجيبة في عيوننا الله الرب ظهر لنا مبارك لا تبي اسم الرب. In the streams of thy tears thou didst cultivate the barrenness of the desert, and by thy sighs from the depths thou didst bear fruit a hundredfold in labors, and thou becamest a luminary. Shining with miracles upon the world, O Salvas, our righteous Father, intercede with Christ God that our souls be saved. <laughs> Now and ever into the ages of ages, Amen. Thou who for our sake was born of a virgin and did suffer crucifixion, O good one, and did despoil death through death. And this God didst reveal resurrection. Despise not those whom thou hast created with thine own hand. Show forth thy love for mankind, O merciful one. Accept the intercessions of thy mother, the Theotokos, for us. And save thy despairing people, O our Savior. Completing thy whole life on the earth in devoutness, thou verily becamest the Spirit's pure vessel, while ever enlightening them that drew nigh unto thee in faith, O our godly-minded Father, 
of us most blessed, make entreaty with thy master that he enlighten our souls as we sing thy praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. We know thee as the Mother of God, who art truly a virgin, even after thy childbirth, O maiden. With longing we flee in faith to thy goodness and sympathy. For we sinners of thee as our certain protection, and as our salvation in distress and temptations, thou only all nameless one. Thou in taking the Lord's cross upon thyself, and in following after him to the end, didst never return in mind to the world or the things thereof. And thou slewest the passions with labors and abstinence, so preparing thyself as a temple for Christ thy Lord, as thou wast rewarded, O divinely wise of us, with graces to heal all ills and to drive unclean spirits out. O God, bear it divinely blessed, intercede with Christ our God, that forgiveness of all their transgressions be granted to them that with longing keep thy holy memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. By conceiving the wisdom and word of God, and thy womb in a manner transcending speech, thou bearest for all the world, and who filleth the universe. Thou hast held in thine arms them that hold it together all, and who fashioned creation and gave it their food to all. Wherefore I beseech thee, O thou only Virgin and Mother of God, that I be redeemed from many sin, when I shall have to stand before the face of my Creator and God. O pure Lady Virgin, help me in that hour. For thou canst do whatsoever thou dost will, O blameless one. Thou forsakest all things found upon the earth, and though bodily thou wast yet in the world, in spirit thou didst become a partaker with angel kind. For in slaying the bodily passions thou wast shown forth, as the all-holy trinity servant, O blessed man, and so righteous was thou, our God-bearing Father, thus heal the ills of the sick, and thus drive unclean spirits off, with thy word and by grace divine. Intercede with Christ our God, that forgiveness of all their transgressions be Granted to them that with longing keep thy holy memory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Let us all praise the heavenly gate and archive, the all holy mountain, the radiant cloud, the ladder to heaven's heights, that true spiritual paradise, the redemption of Eve, the great treasure of all the world. For thou, for through her was salvation enacted for all mankind, and complete forgiveness of our, of our many offenses, and pardon of trespasses. For with this reasons we all cry out with great fervor, and say to her, Entreat thy Son and God, that he grant the forgiveness of transgressions wrought in life. To them that faithfully worship thine all spotless child, O man. In my youth, up many passions have warred against me, but do thou help and save me, O my Savior. Confusion.
confusion of the Lord. Like grass in the fire shall ye be withered up. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Through the Holy Spirit is every soul quickened and exalted in purity, and made resplendent by the triune unity and mystic holiness. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. What shall we render unto the Lord for all that he hath rendered unto us? Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For holy art thou, our God, who restless in thy saints, and unto thee we ascribe glory. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Pas ab noyen sato ton kirion, kuluna samak fal tu At that time, Jesus stood on a level place with a great crowd of his disciples and a great multitude of people from all Judea and Jerusalem and the sea coast of Tyre and Sidon who came to hear him and to be healed of their diseases. And those who were troubled with unclean spirits were cured. And all the crowd sought to touch Jesus, for power came forth from him, and healed them all. And Jesus lifted up his eyes on his disciples and said, Blessed are you, poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you that hunger now, for you shall be satisfied. Blessed are you that weep now, for you shall laugh. Blessed are you when men hate you, and when they exclude you, and revile you, and cast out your name as evil on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice in that day and leap for joy. For behold, your reward is great in heaven.
shall sprinkle me with his with and I shall remain clean. Thou shalt wash me and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. For those that be humble, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins and blot out all my iniquity. Create me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall be Transgressors thy ways, and the ungodless shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, and the God of my salvation. My tongue shall rejoice in my righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I have given it. With whole burnt offerings thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit. A heart that is broken and humble, God will not despise. Rejoice, O Lord, in thy good pleasure and sublime, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built up. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they be brought from blood upon thy altar. Vox a patrice iocae hio pneumati, through the intercessions of thy saint, O thou who art merciful, blot out the multitude of our transgressions. Of Pentapolis, the wonder workers, 
of our fathers among the saints, Deacon Patriarch of Moscow, and Raphael, Bishop of Brooklyn, of the holy glorious great martyrs, George, the trophy bearer, the patron and protector of this holy community, Demetrius, the mere streamer, Theodore, the soldier, Theodore, the general, and Minas, the wonder worker, of the Hiram martyrs, Ignatius, the god bearer of Antioch, Charanos and Eleftherios, of the holy glorious weird women martyrs, Tecla, Barba, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Fotini, Marina, Paraskavi, and Irene, of the holy glorious right victorious martyrs, of our venerable and god fathers who shone in the ascetic life, especially Savas, the sanctified, whose memory we now celebrate, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, the holy martyr Diogenes, Philotheos, the righteous of Maldathos, and Nectarius, the Bulgarian, whose memory we celebrate, and of all the saints, we beseech thee, O most merciful Lord, hearken unto the petitions of us sinners, who make our supplications unto thee, and have mercy upon us. Passions and love for mankind, thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy and good and life creating Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O blessed Sabbath, thou was offered from thine infancy through thy great virtue as a pure and spotless sacrifice unto God who ere thy birth verily foreknew thee. Wherefore thou hast an adornment of thy righteous saints, and all praise founder of cities in the wilderness. Hence I cry to thee, rejoice, O Father of great renown. Rejoice, O Father of great renown. Being a sign of wisdom, O righteous Sabbath, thou didst long after the hypostatic wisdom from thy youth, and he, Taking up his abode in thee, separated thee from the earth, and led thee up to the heights, painting a garland of immaterial flower, and setting it upon thy hallowed head. O godly minded Father, arrayed wherewith be bound for God, that I have given wisdom of speech, and I may worthily praise of him thy holy falling asleep, which Christ our God hath glorified. For which cause we also cry to thee, rejoice, O Father of great renown. Rejoice, O Father of great renown. On December 5th, in the Holy Orthodox Church, we commemorate our righteous and God-bearing Father, Sabbath the Sanctified. Since he clave after God in soul all his lifetime, Sabbath in his presence now standeth before him. On the fifth Sabbath, was led up within the divine walls. The unknown, village, the unknown village of Mutalaska in the province of Cappadocia became famous through his great luminary of the Orthodox Church. Sava was born there of his parents, John and Sophia. At the age of eight, he left the home of his parents and he was tonsured a monk in a nearby mon monastic community called Flavian. After 10 years, he moved to the monasteries of Palestine and remained the longest in the monastery of Euthenius, the great and Theotokos. The clairvoyant that he was, that he would establish a labyrinth uh, greater than all of the labyrinths at that time. After the death of Euthenius, Saba withdrew to the desert where he lived for five years as a hermit in a cave known to him by an angel of God. 
Afterward, when he had been perfected in the monastic life, he began by divine providence to gather around him many who were desirous of the spiritual life. Soon such a large number gathered that Papa had to build a church in many cells. Some Armenians also came to him, and for some he provided a cave where they would be able to celebrate services in the Armenian language. When his father died, he gave his aged mother, Sophia, came to him, and he taught her for a nun. He gave her a cell located at the distance from his monastery where she lived in a life of asceticism until her death. The Holy Father endured many assaults from all sides, from those who were close to him, from heretics and from demons. But he triumphed over all of them, those close to him by kindness and indulgence, the heretics by his unwavering confession of orthodox faith, the demons by the sign of the cross and calling upon God for help. He had particularly greater struggle with the demons on Mount Castellanum, where he established his second monastery. In all, Slava established seven monastics. He and Theodosius the Great, his neighbor, was considered to be the greatest light and pillars of orthodoxy in the East. They corrected emperors and patriarchs in matters of faith, and to everyone they served as an example of saintly humility and miraculous power of God. After a toilsome and very fruitful life, St. Sava entered into the rest of the year 532 A.D. at the age of 94. Among his wondrous and good works, let, us, let it at least be mentioned that he was the first to compile the order of services for use in monasteries now known as the Jerusalem of Kitsukon. On this day, he also commemorated the holy martyrs, Yajnas, Elas, Philippius, and the righteous of Mount Athos and Nectarius the Bulgarian. Through their intercession, O Lord Jesus Christ our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. Christ is born, give ye glory. Christ is come from heaven, receive ye him. Christ is on earth, be exalted. Sing unto the Lord all the earth, and sing praises and gladness, O ye peoples, for he hath been glorified. <laughs> الذي تجسد في آخر الأزمنة من البتول بغير زرعنات فيه يا من رفع شننا قدوس أنت يا رام أيها المسيح المسابع لقد خرج قديم من أصل ياسا ومنه قد نبت زارة من جبل ضليل مدغل أيها الإله المنزه عن الهيول فأتيت متجسدا من البتول التي لم تعرف رجلا فالمجد لقدرتك يا Fear. 
thread of fire, but standing in the midst of the flames they chanted, O God of our fathers, blessed art Thou. <laughs> A 
strange and marvelous mystery do I behold. The game is the heaven, the virgin a cherubim throne, the manger a space wherein Christ God the uncontainable one hath reclined. Him do we praise and magnify. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Calling to remembrance our all holy immaculate. Most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever virgin, Mary with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Amen. O Father, Seven. for all the powers of the heavens, praise thee unto thee. Ascribe glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Father, Sabbath, wise and God, shining gem of the Father, through wisdom lived in Christ, this thou make the desert a city, and an oetic paradise that brought forth mounting fields full of divine and fair flowers, even hosts of monastic, who now are the honor, thy never ever venerable man. Let all the desert make merry and burst in bloom as the lily. For thou, O godly wise Sabbath, hast multiplied her fair children. And let the country round Jordan rejoice in gladness, O Father, on thy divine peace. Thou Greatness, 
He that disdain things below as a stranger in their midst, that love the things of heaven, the divine desert dweller, the godly mind is solace exhorteth us all to keep feast now with fervent faith while celebrating the joyous and honored day of his going forth to God on high. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet, praise him with the song, the re and heart. He that disdain things below as a stranger in their midst, that love the things of heaven, that they find as our dweller. The godly minded Sabbath exhorteth us all to keep peace now with firm and faith, while celebrating the joyous and honored day of his going forth to God on high. Praise him with the timbrel and dance, praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Through virtues thou didst live outside both of the world and the flesh, and through thy life and virtues thou didst glorify on earth the very Lord of glory, O Father most wise, and thou rightly art glorified, O Sabas chosen of God, for in him thou art a divine spring welling forth with cures. Praise them upon the loud symbols, praise them upon thy sound symbols, that everything that hath breath, praise the Lord. Since thou wast temperate, build it as silent and simple and meek, past what is common for men, thou, O Father, didst truly appear as material while in the flesh and an all-worthy house of God, and in thy sympathy thou dost pass on to us of the gifts that come from him to thee.
وصرت كوكبا للمسكونة متلاليا بالعجائب يا تتبارك سابق فتشابه إلى المسيح إلى أن يخلص نفوسنا صفي The streams of thy tears thou didst cultivate the barrenness of the desert, and by thy sidings from the dead thou didst bear fruit and get full in labor, and thou became as the luminary, shining with miracles upon the world of Sabbath. Intercede with Christ God that our souls be saved. <laughs> تشفع إلى المسيح إلى في خلاص نفوسنا On this day the virgin cometh to the cave to give birth to God the Word ineffably who was before all the ages, dance for joy, O earth, on hearing the gladsome tidings with the angels and the shepherds. Now Let us pray to the Lord, Lord that mercy, for holy art thou our God, and unto thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Oh. Uh -huh.
Wisdom, stand upright, let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be to all. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us attend. The Lord said to his disciples, All things have been delivered to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. Come to me, all who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. My In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. It's been such a blessing with all of these liturgies that we've been having, that I reread the lives of the saints of those we are commemorating. And one thing that I think sticks out in my mind the most during this time is if I posted on social media the stories of these saints, especially in their early years, if I posted their stories, changed their names, and made it seem like something going on today, somebody for sure would call the Department of Children's Services. Because what the saints did back then would be considered so abnormal to us here today. But we're advanced. We know better. We're woke. Are we though? Look at who the church produced for 2,000 years and look at what we're producing now. Saint Sabas went to a monastery on his own, on his own at the age of eight years old. His parents had left him in the care of his uncle, his aunt and uncle, and then he moved to another uncle, and then he went to the monastery. And his uncle went to the monastery to beg him to come back. And his wisdom at eight years old was greater than the wisdom of the adults. And so the abbot of the monastery allowed him to stay at the monastery, and he was raised from the age of eight. And then when he was 18, he made a pilgrimage to Alexandria, Egypt, where his parents were, and they saw him, and they ran and hugged him and begged him to take his father's illustrious position. And again, at 18 years old, his answer to his parents was, is it right that I should love you more than I love God? Whoever loves father and mother more than me is not worthy of me. And so again, we see great wisdom from an 18-year-old that even his parents didn't have. 
But again, if we leave eight-year-olds in a monastery, if an eight-year-old said, I want to go to the monastery, and we left him there, we would have the police called on us. In fact, our monastery, the Greek Orthodox monastery in Arizona, St. Anthony's Monastery, had a number of young men go and join that monastery who were adults. And their parents called the police and said, there is a cult over there and they brainwashed my children. Please go get them for me. And when the police investigated, they saw, of course, that it was not a cult, that the young men were of sound mind and stayed at the monastery. Because there are greater things than what we have. And the monastics truly understand that. My two best friends growing up, they were like my younger brothers. They couldn't wait to go to the monastery. There were four altar boys in our church. It was a very small church. It was myself and my brother and these two brothers who were my priest's two grandsons. And you can tell my priest's holiness because three of his four youth are full-time in the church, two as monks and one as a parish priest. And I remember my friend, the older brother, he went to the monastery, he used to go all the time, and then finally at 17 he wanted to go. And everyone kept telling him, no, go to college, you're crazy. What do you want to do at the monastery? You're throwing away your life. And finally, he decided he couldn't live in the world anymore. He just wanted to go be with God in the monastery. And at 17, he left high school during his senior year and joined the monastery. And his high school, because he was so bright, he was such a brilliant kid, that the high school said, you have enough credits, you're only short one gym credit and we'll give it to you and you can graduate high school. That way to make people happy. And he went and lived in the monastery and a few short years later his brother couldn't wait to join him in the monastery. In the Middle East, years, a number of years ago, you would have lots of kids, five, six, seven, eight kids. Sometimes you couldn't feed all of those kids and so the church would say, all right, give us one for the monastery. And the parents would pick the one that they thought was the most useless and say, here, you go to the monastery and you live there. And this is very wrong as well. We don't give away the weakest link to the monastery. Although from those weakest links came some great fruits. But when your child says to you, I'm thinking about monasticism, this is the greatest blessing. That means you succeeded as a parent. And you should encourage your child to go and develop their calling. You know, not everybody's called to be married. And the church gives us two, two approved methods of living. One, married, and two, monastic. Not to live by yourself, because when you live by yourself, you're obedient to nobody. And so monasticism is a high calling. How many monastics has this huge cathedral produced? None. Because we see monasticism as a way of life for somebody who can't cut it in this world. We see monasticism and we say, haram, poor things. Why are they going to throw away their lives like that? But have we ever read the lives of the saints and the lives of the monastics like Saint Sabas? This man could heal people by his touch. This man had wisdom greater than any, anybody. Was he a poor thing? Was, did he waste his life? People came from all over the known world to seek his counsel. Did he waste his life? 
We would dream of having such prestige here in the world. But because he did it in a monastery, we say, waste of life? Let's change our thinking. Let's spend more time at monasteries, even if we're married, even if we're older and we have no desire to become monastics. Let's spend more time in monasteries. We're one of the few states in the 50 states that has a monastery in our backyard. Let's go spend more time there. Let's, instead of family vacations, let's go travel to a monastery and spend the week there. You think a week in Disney World is going to help your family grow closer together? It's going to make the children want more. It's going to frustrate the parents more. But go rather take them to a monastery and live for a week with the monks and the nuns and see how strong your family will become. Through the prayers of Saint Savas, the sanctified, that means the holy. May we discover monasticism and add it as part of our life so that we may be strengthened by those who have dedicated their entire lives to God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom that guarded always by thy might, we may strive glory unto thee, to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto the ages of ages.
Especially Metropolitan Bulos and Archbishop Yohanna, the persecuted and occupied Christians and all people suffering violence, captivity, or homelessness throughout the world, and the servants of God, Jim, Wanda, Norman, Kay, Benjamin, Michael, Michael, Joanne, John, Suad, Theodore, Meredith, Khuriyath, Anasiya, and her unborn child, Nicole, and her unborn child, Teresa and her unborn child, and Samira. The Lord God, remember them in his kingdom now and ever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. Servants of God, depart in this life in the hope of the resurrection and life eternal, especially Patriarch Irene of thrice blessed memory, Archbishop David of thrice blessed memory, Herbert, the Lord God, remember them and those in his kingdom, always now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Tribulation. 
tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us ask of the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. An angel of peace, a faithful God, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Pardon and forgiveness of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. for our souls and peace for the world let us ask of the Lord all things good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world let us ask of the Lord That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance. Let us ask of the Lord. A Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, peaceful, and the good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ. Let us ask. This, o Lord. Calling to remembrance our all holy, immaculate, most blessed and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life. Unto Christ our God. Lord God Almighty, Lord God, this is a service of grace for those who call upon thee in the name of heart. This is also the prayer of our sins and lead us to thy holy altar. And enable us to offer unto thee the true spiritual sacrifices for our sins and for the ignorance of the people. And make us worthy to find grace in thy sight, that our sacrifice may be acceptable unto thee. That the good spirit of thy grace may rest upon us and upon thee. Passions of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy and good and life creating Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen.
the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all lords, light of light, very God of very God, begotten not made, of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate and suffered and was buried. And the third day he rose again according to the scripture and ascended into heaven and sitteth at the right hand of the Father and he shall come again with glory to judge the quick and the dead whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us stand aright. Let us stand with fear. Let Hey! 
fulfilled all the dispensation for us in the night in which he was betrayed, or rather given us a life of love, to be bread which holy and light Especially our all holy, most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary.
Among the first, be mindful, O Lord, of our Father and Metropolitan Joseph and our Bishop Thomas, whom do thou grant unto thy holy churches in peace, safety, honor, health, and length of days, rightly dividing the word of thy truth. Amen. And of the people here present, those who and of all mankind. with one mouth and one heart to glorify and praise that our honorable and majestic name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now endeavor into the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ the saints again and again in peace let us pray to the Lord, Lord mercy. for the precious gifts now set forth and sanctified let us pray to the Lord, Lord mercy. that our God who loveth mankind receiving them upon his holy most heavenly an ideal altar is a savor of spiritual sweetness, will send down upon us in return his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Asking for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit. Let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Ooh. Unto thee we commend our whole life and our hope and we beseech thee and pray thee and supplicate thee. Thou save us to partake of thy heavenly and dread mysteries of this sacred and spiritual table with a pure conscience and forgiveness of sins and pardon of transgressions. boldness and without condemnation, we may dare to call upon Thee, the heavenly God is Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come, Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Has brought all things from nothingness into being. 
Do thou make self a master look down from heaven upon those who have bowed their heads unto thee, for they have not bowed down unto flesh and blood, but to thee, the fearful God. Therefore, master, do thou thyself distribute these creatures by forth with all of us for good, according to the individual good of each boy, and those who sail by sea journey, and those who travel by land and air. Heal the sick that were the position of our souls and bodies. Through the grace and compassion and love toward mankind of thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thine all holy and good and life creating Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Hear us, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, from the holy dwelling place and from the throne. Come to sanctify us, O thou who sittest on high with the Father, and not to your invisible present with us. And thou art safe by the mighty hand to impart unto us thy immaculate body and precious blood unto us to all thy people. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. O God, be gracious unto me, a sinner, and have mercy upon me. Suffer, O Son of God, accept me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of thy mystery to thine enemy, neither will I give thee a kiss as the Jews, but like the thief will I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom, not unto judgment, nor unto condemnation. Be my partaking of thy holy mysteries, O Lord, but unto the healing of the soul and body.
Be thou exalted, O God, above the heavens, and thy glory over all the earth. For blessed is our God. Always, now, and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let our mouth be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that we may sing of thy glory. For thou hast permitted us to partake of thy holy, divine, immortal, and life-giving mysteries. Establish us in thy sanctification, that all the day long we may meditate upon thy righteousness. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Stand upright, having partaken of the holy, divine, immortal, heavenly, life-giving, and dread mysteries of Christ, let us worthily give thanks unto the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Asking that the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless. Let us commend ourselves and each other. To thee, O Master, love us, mankind, benefactor of our souls, for that thou hast vouchsafed this day to feed us with thy heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make straight our path, establish us all in thy fear, guard our life, make firm our steps through the prayers and intercessions of the glorious Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, and of all thy saints. For thou art our sanctification, and unto Thee we ascribe glory, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever. And Let us depart in peace. In the name of the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. O Lord, who blesses those who bless thee and sanctifies those who put their trust in thee, save thy people and bless thy inheritance, preserve the fullness of thy church, sanctify upon thee. Give peace to thy world, to thy churches, to the priests, to the civil authorities, to the armed forces, and to all thy people. For all good giving and every perfect gift is from above, and cometh down from thee, the Father of lights. Now to thee we ascribe glory, thanksgiving, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages. In the name of the Lord, and forth and forever, and of the law and prophets, and this blessed be the name of the Lord, and forth and forever, Lord. Yakun is more rabbi mubarakan, min al Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. The blessing of the Lord be upon you through his divine grace and love for mankind, always, now, and never, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to thee, O Christ, our God, and our hope. Glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Father, bless. We pray so true God, through the intercessions of His all Immaculate and all blameless Holy Mother, by the might of the precious and life-giving cross, by the protection of the bindless powers of heaven and the supplications of the glorious John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, whose divine liturgy we now celebrate, of our right victorious martyrs, of our venerable and God-bearing fathers, of our Father among the saints, Raphael, Bishop of Brooklyn, the founder of this holy community, of the great martyr and trophy bearer George, patron protector of this holy community, of the holy and righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Aaron, of our venerable and Father Shabbos, the saint of God, whose memory we celebrate, he is good and love us mankind. Through the prayers of 
of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. By the way, one of the um, greatest monasteries in our church is in Palestine, and it's the monastery of St. Savas, around where he was a monk in the 4th uh, and, and 5th centuries. And he also, we have something called the Tipicon. The Tipicon determines what we sing and when we sing it in the church. And he was the first one to write the Tipicon uh, for the monasteries. And this is called the Tipicon of Jerusalem. So the monasteries often follow uh, this order of services and we give thanks to St. Sabas for this. So a lot of our traditions in the church come from him. May God bless you through his prayers.